What we do here is we develop these collections of crop resources and their wild relatives. We maintain them. And we normally store it in the form of seeds, but germplasm can take many forms. Our mission is to preserve this germplasm and then distribute it for research purposes. This is important because researchers, breeders all over the U.S. and world, they request samples for research. They can mine basically those genetic traits for anything that would be useful. Some of these plants have more drought tolerance. Or insect resistance or disease resistance. We hope there's always something coming out from this material. We have about 9,500 cultivated peanuts in the collection. We have approximately 27,000 samples of grasses. So we have about 30 rows back there. That's $30,000 worth of beans. The pear collection is the largest germplasm collection here at the Corvallis Gene Bank. We are one gene bank out of many in the national plant germplasm system. You know, our food security isn't really a given and we shouldn't take it for granted. So we're preserving plant crop genetic diversity for today and tomorrow. Welcome to the Plant Genetic Resources Conservation Unit in Griffin, Georgia. Our unit is part of the National Plant Germplasm System that is run by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Our unit here is one of the four plant introduction stations that's part of the National Plant Germplasm System. The one here in the southeast in Griffin, Georgia. There's also one in Ames, Iowa. Geneva, New York, and Pullman, Washington. And those four sites will have a very diverse set of germplasm that's adapted to the regions where they're located. Genetic diversity or the germplasm is the foundation for crop improvement. So a lot of this germplasm has diversity for all desirable traits that a peanut breeder would like to combine into a good variety. What we aim to do is bring some of those seeds into the lab put them onto the machine here, and this will give us a measure of the oil content of those seeds. Today we're gonna to be working on sorghum. So when I get an order, I'll start planting on the germ paper, and then I put it in the germinator, see if they're abnormal, dead, or disease. I'm packaging a warm season grass germplasm request. I take a sample of that plant, I wash the roots, and I wrap the roots in sphagnum moss and package it into bags. We distribute about 50,000 samples a year to researchers all over the world, free of charge for research purposes. It's not really intended for home garden use. There are species that probably won't do very well in your home garden, but they're very important for plant breeders to use. So here in Ames, we have about 54,000 accessions of more than 1,700 plant taxa. I've heard some people refer to the gene bank system as the thin green line between potential global starvation and food security. We're that backup. We maintain spinach germplasm and a lot of other crops. And we have to extract the seeds so individually they have less dormancy. We want to make those desirable disease resistances and whatever else is there available to plant breeders. The crops that the vegetable projects curate are pumpkins, melons, cucumbers, carrots, chicory, parsnips, and basil. Today we're working with pumpkins, extracting the seeds. This is where we will select our 25 ears that are a representative of this accession that are going to go through to imaging. After we pick the berries, they're gonna go through a common household blender. And then they'll be screened uh, with water. After that, we can use an air column blower to separate the inert material from the seeds. You can browse our entire catalog and see what's available and submit an order via a web cart. If that order is one that falls under our distribution policy of being for a research purpose or for breeding. Then I print packets which are filled by our seed storage department to get that order to its destination. Corvallis is a great area to grow plants. We are a gene bank that manages 
temperate fruit, nut, and specialty crops. We have scientists that work on the molecular analysis of the crops. They help us identify the particular cultivars and to see if we have unusual diseases in the plants. We all preserve genetic diversity of our assigned crops and work as a team to do so. I like to compare myself to a librarian. Instead of being at a research uh, library with books, research library is the plant materials and we've got the, the trees lined up like books on a shelf. And um, I'm involved in several projects right now looking for better rootstock for pears. And that's where the wild germplasm is particularly useful. Genetic diversity is important because we don't know what we're gonna face in the future. So each of these plants, as more diseases are becoming spread around and more issues with climate change and soil conditions, having to grow on poorer soils, some of these plants may have characteristics that allow breeders to introduce those traits into commercial quality cultivars so that we can grow in these changing environments. This is called the Western Regional Plant Introduction Station. And we maintain a wide variety of material here in Pullman as sources of genes for adaptation to disease, to climate change, to environmental change. So I'm just hand harvesting some peas in this greenhouse. We grow the peas inside to protect them from virus that they can get out in the field. These are called isolation tents. They are primarily used to prevent cross-pollination so that we can keep the genetic viability and integrity of our collection. Grasses are a major forage crop and also for turf. I maintain plots in the field, uh, harvesting grasses, making sure the plots get weeded, check for insects, diseases, take data on them. So you can see if you go around the greenhouse, there are a lot of beans that look very, very different and it takes a lot of attention to make sure that they grow properly and produce lots of seed. When I got here, I could not believe the amount of diversity that was maintained in a small location. It just blew me away. We have peas, lentils, lettuce, garlic, onion relatives, beans, the list is really large. I just can't emphasize how passionate most of the people that work here are and how much we love it. Especially as the climate is changing around us, we want our plants to be adapted to these new conditions. Here, there's so much diversity, you're always learning something. I really, really like when we can identify that one unique accession that has really interesting traits in it. The collection has just so much diversity and a lot of it's visible. You, you can see the colors and things like that that are in the collection. I believe in the mission of maintaining genetic diversity for the future. We have a responsibility not just to the U.S. but to the world. <laughs>